Welcome to Pro Kitchen 7.0 video tutorials. In this tutorial, we're taking a look at a new feature in Pro Kitchen called Tooltip. We've added this tooltip to allow you to be able to place items in a much faster fashion. So I've got some walls laid out here. And we're going to put some cabinets in these walls. And I want to start out with my base cabinets. So I'm going to come down here and I want to start with a base corner. Choose my base corner. I'm going to choose a blind base. Um, as you know, when you place a blind base cabinet, you need to pull that from the adjoining wall at least three inches, possibly more. In this case, we're just going to do 39 inch. I've got a click on here and it pulls up my tool tip. This is my tool tip box here. And I can change the width, I can change the height, and I can change the depth and the angle and the elevation. I can set modifications. I can pull it from the back wall and I can pull it from the side wall all right from my tooltip before I place my cabinet. I can also turn my tooltip on and off by clicking on that. If you turn your tooltip off, you can right click out of here on your layout, display catalog tooltip, click on that, and it's back up. Now to activate your tooltip, just simply click on a cabinet and your tooltip will pop up. If you're placing a cabinet like normal and you're just grabbing it and dragging and dropping, you can still do that, just grab and drag and drop and the tooltip doesn't appear. So we'll open this one back up. I want to pull this guy three inches off the wall, so I'm going to set my side wall offset to three inches. Now my when I move my mouse off of the box, it becomes a crosshair. That tells me, hey, you got something attached. You do a left click, it's going to place. So I'm going to roll out here on my wall that I want to set this on, and I'm just going to click along my wall and it's going to pull that out there three inches. So there's my three inch offset from the side wall. Now <clears throat> we're going to go drop a filler in there. Filler, base filler, base filler, BF3. Drop that guy out there. I'm going to come back up in here now and choose another cabinet. Just another regular base cabinet. And we'll grab a base 30. I'm rolling them up there pretty high so the tooltip doesn't drop off of the, the screen that you guys can see. So we've got a base 30. Um, we've got width, height, and depth. Now I can change the width, the height, and the depth of my cabinets right from here. The one thing this does not do if you change the width, height, or depth, it does not add the pricing for that change. So if you want to change your width, height, or depth, you really need to go to your modifications and change it from there. So I'm going to click on modifications. Here's all of my cabinet modifications. And let's choose a, let's see, style and rail. Extend, I should have done that before. Let's do a wide style on this guy. Wide style, increase width, increase width. Let's do it on the left side so it looks like it's got a filler on both sides of it as it's placed. I'm going to click add. It's going to ask me how much in here. Just leave it the way she is. And OK. So there it is. OK. And now it's ready to place. And just drop it into place. Now we've got those two sets. So let's add some wall cabinets to this. I grab my wall cabinets and a wall corner cabinet. I want a wall diagonal corner cabinet. I'm going to do a 2736 in this guy in a kitchen designed for 30 inch uppers. That gives us that nice little bump up. And previously, we'd have to drop it out here, and then we'd have to come back and right click on it, choose up and down, set our height. But here, I can just simply select it. I can change my elevation right out of here to 90 inches. Again, as soon as I move my cursor off, it becomes a crosshair. Click up here on the layout, and there it sets. Okay, now let's grab a couple other cabinets and set around it. Let's do 30 inches high, and we'll do a we'll do a 30 30 coming off of this side, 30 30 coming off of that side, and then let's do a smaller cabinet. Let's do a 12, and this time I want to set it at an angle. So I'm gonna come in here and set 45, and click out here. And there that cabinet's in there at a 45 degree angle, which makes it really handy. 
Now the one thing I do want to caution you about, as you come through here, if you set your angle, it stays for the next cabinet. So if you don't want that 45 degree angle on the next one, come in here and change that when you select your cabinet. Now if you grab your cabinet and drag and drop like normal, it's not going to have that 45 degree angle on it. Or 45 degree angle setting. And you can click the reset button here to change all of those as well. Our back wall offset and our side wall offset, those change um, back with it each, each placement. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to delete this guy. And now we're going to do a back wall offset on one of these. Oops, let's get it up here where you can see it all. Back wall offset. I'm going to pull this guy from the wall three inches. I'm just going to set it and drop it out here. And I've got that nice little three inch pull on it now. So let's take a quick 3D of this guy. And there we have it. There's our little set of cabinets. We've got the raise. We've got the pull. If we rotate it down here, we can see where it's been pulled out. It's been raised. It's been modified. So that makes placing cabinets so much faster by using your tooltip. And again, to select your tooltip, just click on the cabinet you want to choose. That's just a simple left click, and your tooltip pops open. So hopefully you guys will find a lot of use out of this tooltip. Please use it and enjoy it. Thank you for watching the Pro Kitchen Tooltip video tutorial.